So in this video I will show you how to create this 2D character animation walk cycle. So as you can see, if you look from the side, it's two-dimensional, it's made of drawings, of legs, arms and everything, and you can even move around his body like this, and it, it kind of changes the way he walks. So first I will draw my character in Photoshop. I will use this um, character that I found in this animator survival kit book as a reference. So now I will just select all of these, I will click quick export as PNG, I will select my folder and click select folder. So now when I go in Cinema 4D and click this little gear and select di directory, I will go down, I will find my folder, click OK, and now you can see that all of your like images are here. Next I will just uh, arrange them in the way they needed to be arranged. So for example the leg I think is over here, the arm is over here, this leg, uh, let me just, yeah, this one is here, this one is here, this head is over here, and this arm I think should go here. Now I will put all of these under this body and this left arm, for example, it goes behind. So I will drag that it uh, a bit behind the object so that it uh, cannot be seen from this side. Now I will do the same thing for the leg. And you can just right here, one centimeter, I will just drag it so it's easier to see what's going on here. Now I will drag this to the front because this one is in the front and this one also should be in the front. So now I will go in this front view I will select all of these, I will go in this uh, quick shading lines mode so that I can see all of the segments and I will increase the segment count to something like a hundred. So now I will select all of them, click C and all of them will become editable. Now you can go in your polygons mode and you can cle clean them up and delete all of the parts which are not necessary. So now I will be searching for the joint tool. I will be dragging this here. I will also be needing this bind tool or command and also create IK chain command. I drag them here so that I can access them easily because I will be using them very uh, many times in this tutorial. So I will start with this right leg. You have to hold down control to create these joints and let me just create some four joints for this leg and select all of them, including the leg, click this bind and now select this one, number three and number one and click this button here, which is the create IK chain. Now you can move around this goal and you will see that your leg is already moving and it's behaving in a very uh, natural way. Now I will do the same thing for the other limbs and for legs, it's very important that you place your joints in the way you want them to bend. Because if I placed them like this, as you can see, when I create this IK chain, it will bend this way and that's not right. So now I, I have to create these joints in the kind of, you have to, the angle has to be already in the way, in the direction where you want this to bend. So now I can uh, click this bend and now if I create this IK chain, now it's bending in the way I expected it to bend. So I will do the same thing for the arms. So for the head and body, I will do something different. I will move the head outside. I will click this body layer. I will again take the joint tool. I will create some joints here and I will create some two more here. I will drag this head in the number joint number four and now if I create another IK chain and if I delete this goal and enable dynamics you will see that now the head is kind of uh, it's not it doesn't stay in place as uh, solidly and now when you move this body around you will see that the head is kind of moving along and uh, yeah moving along with it now the last part of this tutorial will be to create the animation and for that I will start with 
selecting all of these joints here and going here and selecting the circle and increasing the size of this so that it's easier to select it and move around. So now I'm ready to do some animations. I will open up my timeline. I will move it down here. I will select all of these joints and make a keyframe at frame zero. When you make a keyframe at frame zero, uh, then you want to make a keyframe at frame 15 and another one at frame 30. So now when I go to frame 15, I will enable this auto keying and I will move this joint, for example, to somewhere here. And if these bones are kind of obscuring your vision, you can press Shift V and go in here in these viewport settings and deselect this joint so it's not visible. Now, you, as you can see, the hand is moving, but the hand is, and actually, as you can see, the hand is kind of going behind this uh, left or right leg, is it? Is it the right leg? Yeah, it's the right leg. So now, what you want to do is, actually, I'm going to delete all of these frames, keyframes, and I will change the location of this uh, so it's a bit more it's so it's more in front of this leg so now if I move it here it's gonna be in front I will you have to deselect you have to kind of uh, disable this for each of the viewports um, so now if I create a keyframe here and create a keyframe here and here and now if I move it over here, you can see that it doesn't go behind the, uh, the leg, which is, of course, impossible. You can't like put your hand through your hip uh, only if you are, I don't know, some kind of a Superman who is, I don't know, Superman who is, uh, whose special power is, you know, doing that. So now, I will do the same thing for the other limbs. This hand will go, this arm will go here. This leg will move to the front, to the front, somewhere over here. Now this leg will go back somewhere here. So now, uh, what happens when you're, uh, the way I usually make these animations, like these walk cycles, is that the, the foot, the leg, which is on the back side, when it comes to the front, I usually change, I usually make a keyframe somewhere in the middle so that it goes up. Because this looks like, now it looks like it's, it's like, He's like picking it up and then placing it down. So that looks a lot better. And now for this one, the other one, I will do the same thing. So somewhere here, I'm going to make it go up. So now it looks a bit better. And of course, you can do very many like tweaks to this animation, but this is already the basic idea how to do it. And before I end this tutorial, I will just show you one more thing. I will go in here and I will select this left leg and open this up and select this IK tag and I will increase this stretch to 100%. So now when I place this foot, this leg further away, it stretches as you can see. And this way you can make him, uh, him or her, like place the foot further away. So it doesn't look like he's like making these small steps. For example, for this right leg, for this li right leg, let me find this. For this one, uh, it, it kind of looks like he's 
going but the step is too like small so that's why I will do the same thing for this one and let me find this null object so now I will I think I will move this like further away and then when he kind of goes so I will move this lower and here it's gonna be even more to the back yeah and this way you can control everything and yeah one more thing you might want to animate is this body here because as you can see now if you move it up you you've got this nice stretch here and usually when a person walks on the somewhere around here uh, you can uh, the person kind of goes uh, not goes up in the air but uh, like pick uh, goes higher the, the the torso moves up so that's what I will do here I will create a keyframe here and somewhere here I will move it up and here I'm gonna move it down again and I will see how that looks and then I will decide what what to do after that so yeah actually this looks fine and of course you can fix all of these parts here I will I will quickly show you one more thing one more thing and then maybe one more thing and then one more thing but yeah I, I think this is gonna be the last one so it looks like around here there's a problem so I will create a keyframe I will create a keyframe here on frame 15 and go back and move this one this so that there's no there's no this um, going outside of the edges right actually I, I didn't have this selected so now I have to do it again and now as you can see uh, you have to duplicate this again control drag and yeah so in this way you can fix all of the parts all, all of the problems there and yeah you can even uh, see what's going on when you uh, decrease this strength here yeah his head just falls off uh, yeah so I hope you like this tutorial and I think this is a very easy and very fast and very nice way to create uh, to create a walk cycle and to animate your uh, your whatever thanks for watching and uh, give me some suggestions on what you would like to see next and uh, yeah